I turned $947 into over 9,000 in just three weeks, and I did it using a very simple strategy, okay? And in this video, I wanna break down what that strategy is and show you all of the statistics behind the exact setup and how I was able to grow this account over 10X in three weeks, okay? Now, this strategy is so simple, okay? I only trade it on SPX and NDX options. You can see I only took about one trade a day and it really only lasted 30 to 60 minutes for the trade. Very, very simple setup, okay? And I'm gonna break everything down in this video for you. And honestly, the reason, you know, just to give you guys some context, the reason why I even did this account in the first place is because, listen, I've been trading six years, okay? And back in the penny stock days, this is a picture of me when I was trading my high school library, okay? I had over 12 accounts that were around 500 to two grand each, and I blew up all of them the first two years that I was trading. And so I know how hard it is to grow a small account. And after doing this for so long, I decided, because a lot of you guys were commenting, hey, how do I grow these small accounts? You know, what, what's the secret? How do I do this? And I decided I'm gonna throw a grand into an account and eventually take it up to over 10X, and that's exactly what I did, okay? Now, I wanna break down the exact statistics behind this and show you guys the exact reasoning of the trading. Now, if we dive in, you guys can see that I actually ended the account at eight grand, okay? So the last trade I took, I lost about a thousand bucks. And the reason why I ended the account here was because I started to get a little crazy with my risk, okay? I started to get really aggressive towards the end. And I said, you know what? I already took it past 9K. It's a Friday. Let me just end the account there. So I took out the money, left it with another thousand, and I may do another account there. We're gonna go ahead and you'll have to stick and see if I do another one. Um, but for so far, Really, really happy with the growth. You can see, you know, all the statistics only had about three losing trades throughout the entire process. It was a very, very simple, very well thought out grown account. Okay, so let's dive into the statistics. Let me show you exactly how all of this worked. Now, in the beginning, I was a little bit aggressive with the risk, okay, because I needed to do so to get some growth in the account so then I could risk more properly. Um, but simply looking at the statistics here, you can see that I had a 71% win rate throughout the entire trading period and about a one and a half risk reward. Now, with the strategy that I'm going to share with you in this video, you can expect around a 65% win rate. Okay, that's typical with what I expect and how I typically trade that strategy. Now, for whatever reason, I was a little bit lucky to have a 71% win rate, probably not enough trades to have that come out to be 65. But nonetheless, nothing to complain about there. Um, so looking at Trade Zello, this is my trading journal. Very, very consistent growth. We only had a few kind of steep down days and the drawdowns were not too bad, okay? With how much I was risking, it was very, very simple. And you look at the calendar here, there's two days in October. Um, I started it on this week here and then ended it um, right here. So three solid weeks of trading, really, really simple. Um, now, again, you can see all of the trades run SPX and NDX, okay? Really, really simple, okay? I didn't trade any other stocks. It was only day trades, no swing trades. Um, and I was able to have a very consistent growth, okay? So I wanna dive into the charts, okay? Show you guys exactly kind of the strategy, show you some exact trades I took and how that makes sense with how you can grow your account as well, okay? So if you have a small account, you wanna learn how to grow it, and you have a cash account for options, uh, this video is for you, or if you just wanna see exactly how I did it, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's just dive right into it. Now, in the beginning, the strategy is actually very simple, okay? Now I have a few different criterias for entries and higher time frames that I use for my trading. Um, but for this account, I wanted to keep it really, really simple. So all I did was simply look at trend, okay? And just to give you a quick kind of overview, quick lesson here, trend at the end of the day is all about higher highs and higher lows. If price is going up and then down and up and down and up and down, we're making higher highs, we're in an uptrend, okay? If price is doing the opposite, just like this, that means we're gonna be in a downtrend, okay? Pretty simple stuff. Now, what did I actually trade to make this make this account, you know, have a 71% win rate. How was able to do that with a nice risk reward? Well, I was simply waiting for what I call a shift in trend or a change in trend, okay? And it's basically when price is making a downtrend and then we end up reversing and we start making an uptrend, okay? And it sounds really simple. It sounds like, well, obviously, Jordan, you want to get long, you know, in this area and just buy and then you're going to make money. Uh, but it goes a little bit deeper into that, okay? So just to simplify things a little bit, all I simply did in a context 
was wait for price to make lower lows and lower highs and be in a downtrend to then start seeing higher highs and higher lows and then just buy in basically any of these pullbacks, whether it's this one here, the first pullback right here, or this pullback all the way up here. Okay, and it sounds too simple, it sounds too easy, but it works extremely well because that's how stocks move. They just go from lower lows and lower highs to higher highs and higher lows. Okay, so I want to go ahead and break down some of the exact trades I took and kind of show you what I did. So let me go ahead, let me just click on, let me go to a losing trade, okay? Actually, I'll go to that later. Let me go to a winning trade first, and then we'll go to a losing trade after that, okay? So we go ahead and look at SPX. Um, we're actually just going to go back um, and see when that is because this isn't loading for some reason. So we'll go to 11-8. I'll probably remember when the uh, the trade was. 11-9, um, 11-8. Okay, cool. Perfect. I remember this trade exactly. All right, so the account market opened right here at 930, okay? Now, let me just see actually if it will show it here. Actually, yeah, we already got it up. This is perfect. So this one we made 840 bucks, okay? Now, when do we end up trading? This one I had about four contracts with it. Now, this trade itself, I remember specifically that it was not the greatest exit, okay? I could have made a lot more, um, but that's what trading is, right? You're never, gonna, you're never going to essentially catch the tops and catch the lows. You're here to just make money, all right? So you can see the entries was around here and the exits were here, here, and here, okay? Now, I'm actually gonna go to the other chart just because this one doesn't look as clean, but entry was around 10.07. So we're just gonna mark that in right here. 10.07 is right around here. And then we had multiple exits kind of around 10.20, 10.40, and then 10.55. Okay, so around first exit was around here, around 10.40. Or 10, uh, yeah, 1040 and 1055. Okay, my math might, or my, my timing might be off, but it's around the same area. Okay, really, that's what you got to understand. Now, why did I end up getting in short here? Why did I end up getting out here? Well, really simple. Okay, price, if you take a look at this example. We started an uptrend, high, low, high, low. Started making higher highs and higher lows, right? We were able to break this high. Uh, we started here, went a low, we broke that high. We're in an uptrend for the first about 30 minutes of the day, okay? And then boom, what do we see happen? We see price immediately dump, okay? We start to see lower lows and lower highs form, okay? So we were once in an uptrend, just like this. And at this point, when price is all the way down here, we now start to see that price is in a downtrend. Really simple stuff. Now, we also noticed that price had a nice supply zone right here, okay? I also like to trade supply and demand. Now, if you don't know anything about supply and demand, feel free to check out my channel. I have a bunch of videos on them. You'll be able to learn that. I don't want to go too much in depth into that here, um, but go ahead, check that out. I use that with trend. And so when I saw price come down, I saw we had the supply zone. I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to wait for a small pullback because originally I was targeting all the way down here or this here low for liquidity. Okay. Price always goes from highs to lows. I was targeting here. I was targeting here. All right. Now, I decided to get in short on a small pullback. Ideally, looking back, hindsight, of course, I should have waited for a short all the way up at supply. Could have had a much better risk reward here. Uh, but I got in short a little bit earlier than that. So right around there, first exit was below 101 risk reward. Now, I typically don't do this, okay? But the reason I decided to get out um, a decent chunk or at least a quarter of the, the position right around here was because we were in a demand zone, okay? And I didn't quite see that as, you know, we were getting in there, right? I was, you know, scrambling to get an entry. I was only looking at trend on this basis. And looking back, obviously, it's not the best trade I took, okay? So I noticed that, took some out. We kept going down, took some more out, and ended up getting out the final contract here, okay? So really simple. What, what happened, okay? Price was in an uptrend. We went to a downtrend. Once I saw that form, I waited for a pullback, got short, and then scalped and took some par partials, some, t some targets off, okay? Really simple. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys another trade. This was on Thursday, November 9th. You can see I got in long right here at 9.57, okay? So let me go ahead, go to the next day, just like this, 9.57 right here, just like that. And I ended up getting out, sorry, and took a loss right here in this candle at 10.06, okay? So right as price was coming back down, uh, we ended up breaking this low. It was right when I got out of that candle there. Now, this was an A-plus setup for me. This was a beautiful, beautiful trade. But 
I lost money on it. I lost $350. And I can't complain about that. Okay. Trading is not about being right. Trading is about having a strategy that wins in the long run. So let me break down this trade and why I would still take it even though it was a loss. Okay. Same exact pattern, same exact strategy. Price comes down, we're in a downtrend. We have a low, we have a high, we have a low. Okay. That is a downtrend. Then what do we see happen? We see price end up break above this high here. Okay, we break structure of this high here. And when I see that, I say, okay, we break this high just like this. Now I know buyers are in control. And that this low should hold, or my trade thesis is telling me this low should hold. So right around was 957, I end up getting long after I see price break that high. My stop is below this low. My target is gonna be up here at this high, targeting this liquidity. Uh, right around here and then I believe I had a higher target on more liquidity can't find it right now but I had a higher target so this was the trade that I was in okay so I got in so I stopped had a target um, and you can see I ended up losing money on this trade and honestly there's there's nothing wrong with with losing money okay this is a very good setup another trade I would have taken any other day and I still would have lost money okay there's nothing wrong with that so I want to show you, you know, I'll just pick a random one. I'll show you one more trade. We'll go to 11.15 on SPX, okay? Again, I just, I just clicked one. This was a small win, about 200 bucks. So same exact thing. Let's go to 11.15. Okay, 11.15 right here. So where did I end up getting in? Where I end up getting out? I got in right here at 10.11, out at 10.22. Perfect. So 10.11 is right here, and then out at 10.22 just like this, this candle right there. All right, so you can probably guess, if you want, you know, go ahead, pause the screen, tell me why you think I decided to get in here, okay? Really simple. What is price doing the first 25 minutes of market open? Right, we're going low, high, low. We're in a downtrend, really simple, okay? Now, what did price do, and why did I decide to get in here? Well, price hit a bottom, we reversed, and we started making higher highs and higher lows. Right? We ended up breaking this high right here. And that told me that buyers are now in control. Same thing right here. Right, We broke this high, and that told me buyers are now in control. So what did I do? I got in long right as we broke that high, just like this. I set my stop right under the most recent low. So you can see we have a, we have a high, low, high, low, high, low, high. So right under this low, I put my stop. And then where did I get out? right around here as we were breaking this liquidity and aiming for a new higher target, okay? Now, obviously I can look back and say, you know what, I could have held a little bit more, right? Could have held all the way up to here, but trading is not about catching tops and bottoms. It's about getting a piece of the move and walking away. And this exact trade made me $200, right? I'm not gonna sit here and complain about $200. Oh, I didn't even realize this. Looks like I actually had runners, okay? So I was holding, okay? So t take a look at this, this is really important, all right? So I got in here, got out here, and then where did I end up getting out the rest? Well, sorry, the final contract I actually got out here. Okay, so I got out the final contract back at break even as we came down to my entry. Why did I do that? Well, I was holding runners for a higher move, right? Trying to keep a good risk reward. And price came back down and we started seeing lower lows and lower highs. So I said, okay, we're making lower lows and lower highs. My stop loss no longer makes sense. I should be out of the trade. So I get out of the trade and that's it. That's how I have a small win. Okay, $195, okay? But by being able to manage my risk, you know, appropriately and by being able to understand, okay, we're now starting to form a downtrend in this area, so maybe I should get out of the rest of my position, I was able to, you know, lock in my losses and not have this winner turn into a loser, okay? I remember up here, I was up a decent amount. I was up another like 600, 700 bucks during this trade um, and I ended up getting out the rest right here, okay? And you can see price ended up going lower after it, right? Price ended up going way lower, and you know it was a good thing I got out when I did because if you understand trend, you understand making higher highs and higher lows and lower lows and lower highs, then you're going to be able to see a lot of success with your trading, okay? Now, what I want you guys to take away from this is that I will be honest, there was a little bit of luck involved, okay? Being able to turn, um, you know, 900 bucks into over nine grand in three weeks is definitely a little bit of luck. Now, that being said, there was also a method to the madness. It wasn't all luck, okay? I had a clear strategy. I showed you three examples. I knew exactly what I was doing. I have a very simple plan. Um, I know how to trade. And if you can manage your risk appropriately, you can end up making money like this, 
Okay, and I know this because I've been in your situation. I showed you guys me and my high school library. Okay, I've, I've been through the rounds of just trying to see a small account and grow it into a large one. Um, and by having the right attitude, having the right strategy, having proper risk management, you can do it. Okay. Now, with the strategy as well, I did also look at a few other higher time frame alignments. Okay. So I also looked at things like value area rotation trades. I looked at things like supply and demand. I looked at things like balance area. Okay. A few other concepts and tools that actually helped me grow this account. Okay. I wasn't simply just looking at trend, but that was the main component of my strategy. And if you guys are looking to learn more about what my exact strategy is and how all of that works, I made a free training down below, okay? And I want you guys to go ahead and watch that video because I kind of break down the strategy more in depth and also show you exactly how you can become a full-time trader and how I went from trading in my high school library, not making anything, to now being a full-time trader and making um, you know over five figures a month, okay? So if you guys are interested in learning more about that, click the link below, okay? Again, a free training for you. It's about 10, 15 minutes long. Um, I also give you a free free goodie if you if you end up watching it. So make sure to check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do more small accounts, if this video likes it, if you don't like it, all of that stuff. And leave a comment down below and a like, a subscribe would be incredible. And I'll see you guys in the next video.